Here is some text. Our plan is going to be based around four styles. There will be body text, clean, readable text. Headers, separating and naming major sections of your work. Notes, which are additional things the reader should be aware of. These should fade into the background unless we call attention to them. And lastly, emphasis, areas that we want our reader to pay particular attention to. So here is the simple font framework with each of those four styles. Body text, is, the goal is to have clean readable text. The font size will be between 10 and 16 points and we'll use a typical popular font like Arial or Georgia. The color should be neutral and the style should be normal. The header separates and names major sections of your writing. Its size is based on the body. It should be 150 to 200 percent the size of the body. The font will be the same as the body or we may flip across. If we're using a serif font for the body, we'll flip and use a popular sans serif font or vice versa. The color is neutral and the style may be bold or italics or it can be normal. We want to make sure we have white space around that. Notes are sized down from the body, 85% of the size of the body. The font is exactly the same as the body. The color will be de-emphasized and the style is normal. Lastly, emphasis. We want to draw the eye. The size is the same as the body and so is the font. But we're going to choose one or both of a high impact color or make the text bold or italic. So we might choose a bold red for emphasis text or just italics or some combination of color and italics. So when you look at this, it really comes down to a limited number of decisions that you need to make. I've highlighted the decision points in yellow. You need to choose the size and font of the body. You need to decide if the header is going to flip from serif to sans serif and if the header is going to have any style. And the final thing is you need to decide what to do about emphasis. Those are all the decisions you need to make. Now you might be thinking, that can't be all. That really is not going to cover the needs that I have in fonts and how to lay out text. Well, it's really not all. These four things I mentioned are like the major notes in your composition. It's still up to you to combine these notes intelligently and blend them where necessary. Here are some examples. So there are some things that don't fit easily into one category or another, like table headers or low importance columns in a table or graph titles. And for these, what we do is we use a combination of the four styles, table headers or body with just a little bit of the header style. Low importance columns are the body with the note style, or just in the note style. And graph titles might be the header style with the body size.